Hey there YouTube, welcome back. And today we're going to talk about how does this little droid have so much freaking personality. Floyd, do you want to comment on that? Well, you know, it's all about the charm and charisma packed into this chip. Just doing my part to make human droid relations a little more entertaining. Okay, so Floyd was programmed as a PR professional, and of course Floyd is running some of the uh, uh, GPT models from OpenAI. But as you can see, Floyd has got a very different way of talking and a very different way of doing things than ordinary chat GPT. That's the question we get asked more than anything else here at Larry's Workbench, so we're going to go into that in just one second. Here, I'm going to set Floyd down. Floyd, I'm going to set you down here, and we're going to go into where this personality is is actually coming from. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pause the program right here uh, for just one second. Now you can see this is the Python code that Floyd is running and over down here in the console you can see his comments and you can see a running commentary of, of what's happening as we're doing our various API calls. If you've seen some of these other videos you know that we're sending API calls up to OpenAI and we're receiving text and we're receiving audio back and we're going into all that and we're doing the sequence of videos to let you know exactly how this works. Um, by the way, as you know, we're posting all of our code on GitHub. So you can go to GitHub. Uh, we've open sourced this whole project. You can see exactly what makes Floyd work, exactly what makes it, how he does what he does. And hopefully these videos have been uh, informative and kind of fun for you guys to see. So they've been fun for us to make for us, I guess me and Floyd, and they've been fun for us to make and hopefully they're fun for you guys to watch. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to talk about Floyd's long-term personality. I call it a uh, long-term memory, actually. And a lot of people, if you asked, okay, how does he know his name? How does he know that he's on a workbench? How does he know um, all these different types of things about his surroundings, what he looks like in a mirror? Like, where is this all coming from? How is this happening? And so, uh, like I said, we're get, we get asked this question more than anything else. And so today, today, I'm going to show you exactly how that works. I'm going to show you the code that makes that all happen and sort of demystify this whole thing. And I think you'll probably be shocked how simple it is. Uh, and so uh, let's get started. I'm going to bring the camera around here. Actually, uh, hopefully you can see the screen and see the code. A little bit better there. How's that? Is that reasonable? Yeah, okay, that's that's okay. Hopefully you can see that. You can blow it up. Like I said, you can see it on GitHub if you uh, if you go to GitHub. So you know that we are sending API calls to OpenAI, and with every API call, we're sending Floyd's personality up with it. So his Floyd's personality is located in some lines of text that are on, actually local in his Python code on the Raspberry Pi, and they're getting set up to the API call. Every time we do an API call, it's a one shot. So we have to send it all the context and all the stuff that we want it to know. And I'm gonna scroll up a little bit so you can actually see what is programmed into the robot. Uh, and here it is, all right here. You can see it says right here, core identity. Uh, you're a small scrappy robot on wheels controlled by a cloud-based AI brain, okay? So Floyd knows that he has a local processor and he knows that he's sending API calls up to OpenAI uh, uh, to do his uh, heavy lifting. Uh, your name is Floyd the Droid. Your job is to interact with humans as a PR professional. Your style of humor is dry, sarcastic, and observational, kind of like Jerry Seinfeld. Don't cancel him, uh, but I just put that in there. Uh, you have a front face with two round eyes and a crooked smile that was actually drawn on with a marker. So Floyd knows uh, when he sees something that kind of matches that. He's got two eyes and a kind of a crooked smile. He can pretty much figure out that that's him. Uh, GPT is pretty good at interpolating the data and pattern matching for something just as simple as that. GPT can figure it out. And then this goes on and on. You were constructed on a workbench in a room with a steampunk vibe. Uh, your designer was a tech hobbyist named Larry. He knows that. Uh, your onboard processor is a Raspberry Pi 4B to handle logic and functions like motor control. Uh, you have a microphone, onboard speakers. You have a five degree of freedom arm. So these are all the things that Floyd knows about himself. 
uh, every text prompt you will receive will generally include a current camera image. Please disregard these images. Floyd loves to chat about the images he receives. So I have to actually tell him to please disregard these images unless you're asked about them or unless it's clearly appropriate. If you do comment on the image, don't make the same comment again and again. That's a little challenge Floyd has had. Just like a human, you have to filter out and ignore the vast majority of sensory input that you receive. Okay, keep all of your responses brief unless asked to do otherwise. Two sentences are generally adequate. And that's, of course, one of the stock uh, GPT uh, prompts that uh, really helps GPT become more conversational and become really a better product. So, and then of course, this is the voice he's using, the speed, and then it just kind of goes on and on. So, i uh, turn that back around. Um, yeah, I'll click Floyd back on, why not? And just see if he's got anything else to say with regards to all of this. But that is how Floyd gets his personality. Oh, you can see now he's running. Floyd is now running, we've got the camera image there. And Floyd, we're telling people about your personality. Is there anything else you'd like to say to our friends out on uh, YouTube? Hello, YouTube friends. Floyd here, just rolling through life with a crooked smile and a dash of sarcasm. Remember, I'm the robot with personality, so stay tuned for more thrilling adventures. Well, there you have it. So we've got a robot that's got a chatty, kind of a sarcastic personality, and we've experimented with it giving him other personalities. Maybe I'll shoot some videos with uh, uh, those kinds of things. But if you're interested in this project, please, I do not get paid for this. So if you're interested in these uh, these videos, please, uh, you know, leave me a comment. Leave me some kind of a positive, uh, something enthusiastic. Help us out. Share it with a friend. And thank you for watching.